I ported on the SI from the inlet side going through and non ported. There's this is interesting because the way they do this, um, I'll show you guys in a second. I really had to take some extra time because this lip right here on the type R is normally like filled in, so you have a straight shot. But if you look, a lot of material off underneath there. So they actually pinch this by literally creating uh, a vortex. So I have to be really careful in how I ported and designed this port. Um, well, it doesn't look that much bigger from this side. Um, there are significant changes to the shape of the port and how all of it runs through the port. Uh, I'll show you guys what I call the flame test after this. touch this area this is pretty freaking big honestly um i really just don't see any need to touch any of the same area this polishing this out is just like killing time for like four cfm so pocket port the exhaust and do what i did to the intake and that's what the head needs you can see here on this exhaust port that there is a big restriction this same lump is in the ctr however it doesn't look as intrusive due to the head design and the size of the port while the port next to it it's been removed however it's still there in the sense that it's been blended in really well and i cut back as far as i feel comfortable anything more than that i'd be afraid to break into the water jacket 